Hey everyone, don't forget to like and comment on this video, okay? This is very, very important. Oh, and also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's help us, okay? We help in the community, we help your jiu-jitsu, and hope you enjoy it. Us. We're gonna start on the lockdown here, right? Justin's gonna put his leg and then he's gonna stretch the leg, right? Stretch your legs. Yeah, like this. Okay, a lot of people, they have a hard time to free their legs, okay, on this. Uh, sometimes you hear and then you try to hug the head of your opponent and more you move towards his head more uh, you're gonna get locked okay so you're gonna be locked here um, and you're gonna feel like the pressure on your feet on your foot actually when you go above his head so every time I try to put pressure on him he's stretching his leg he's stiffening his leg here extending the leg so I feel the pressure there so what I gotta do I gotta underhook both arms okay First, because if I don't underhook this arm, my opponent to underhook my leg and start bringing me over him, now the lockdown, the lockdown will be even uh, worse for me here, especially if he extend his leg against it. Yes, I start feeling my knee here. It's really hard to defend this, okay? Uh, people ask me how I defend this when I'm in this situation here already, and extend your legs. Yeah, you extend the leg really hard here. You know, like that's not much I can do. I just like accept the sweep, you know? So that's, that's the only thing, because I'm gonna get hurt, okay? So, I see people getting hurt here a lot. Okay, so be careful when somebody's in the lockdown and you are on this position where he's under hooking your leg, extend the leg, start extend the leg, start putting pressure on your knee, you see? Because my knee is, sir, is uh, tilting towards the outside, which is like unnatural move for my knee, so I can hurt my ligaments right here, okay? So the best thing to do is relax your leg and just like accept the sweep. And then from here, of course, you cannot let your opponent hug your head and they're gonna start working to take the leg out and escape, right? So, but we can, uh, we can uh, prevent this situation by when he got the lockdown, okay? Stretch your leg, extend your leg, yes. So he extend the legs here. I need to underhook this arm, okay? It's a must to underhook this arm because if I don't, he's gonna underhook my leg. Once he underhook my legs, it'll be bad for me. So. I go down, okay? And when I go down, it's easier for me to release my foot. Okay, you guys can come. It's easier for me to release my, my foot, okay? Again, if I go up, he extend, I'm trapped. So I underhook his arm with the, head that, with the hand that's underhooking his head. Go down, okay? And now I put my knee down here. You see that I, my knee was close to his butt? If I put my knee close to his butt, extend your leg, he, I'm trapped. Okay, so I need to move my knee down. You see, try to trap, so it's hard for him to trap. Now you're gonna put your, your heel towards your butt, and then really fast, you're gonna move your foot like this. One, kneecaps out, two, and then you slide your foot close to his, to his uh, butt. When my foot is close to his butt, it's hard for him to find a lockdown, okay? If my foot is away from his butt, he can't get the lockdown again. So again, so I, I underhook his arm, I go down, bring my heel to my butt, towards my butt, and now I kick my leg forward, putting my, the plant of my foot on the floor, sliding my foot really close to his, uh, to his butt, like this. See, now I got an underhook here, grabbing his collar, and I frame here. I put my hand right on his hip, and my elbow right on top of my knee. Why, because I make a shield here, I don't want my opponent to lock the legs over my thigh. So I need to free my kneecap, just like that, okay? I use my biceps over his biceps here, so he doesn't turn outside, but if you turn outside, I'm gonna take his back. He's gonna try to underhook me here and try to face to me. Exactly, I stay like this. Because I have the underhook, there's no problem if my opponent underhook me here, okay? It's okay. So now when I'm here, I keep my tiptoes on the mat, on the other side. You guys can come in. So I keep my, my toes on the mat here, see? So I cannot be with my feet like this, or my leg extend here, because if my opponent is tall and he's explosive, he can bridge really hard and, and sweep me. Right, like bridge this way here, like he bridge this way, and then I end up losing the box, and I end up on bottom, so I keep here. Okay, once I get here, now I start going to mount. I go to mount, and I push his knee, so I put my kneecap on the floor, okay? So I'll take advantage of this underhook right here. So what I do, I'm gonna knee cut towards uh, the other side, here. 
I'm gonna spray my leg like this and I grab his arm here. I can either hook both arms or I can grab over the arm on, on this side right here. Okay. Now I use my shin to push his leg and take my foot out. Once my foot is out, yeah, and then I start pressing his guard. So I go right here. I go one, push, so I take my foot out. Once my foot is out, I don't do this, okay? I actually can go here, but then I, I use my foot over his thigh, like this. You see how I shovel my toes under his leg? Okay, and now I change my kneecap to the other side again. And then I mount him up on it. So praying foot, right here, okay? Or you underhook like that, okay? Again, so you see like when you're in the, almost on the mount position here, your head is like side by side of his head. You're gonna put your knee here. One, take your heel out, two, and then you go back this way. You can pass this way here, okay? But if you pass this way, remember that you need to move your hip back. Your hip flexor go close to his hip flexor. Like I always mention here when you pass the guard, right? So this connection here, must happen as soon as you pass because if I pass this way here and go away from him, his knee, his bottom knee goes under my hip and he's gonna recover the guard. I end up sweeping me or even arm bar me here or omoplata me here, okay? So you cannot let him put that leg under. So as soon as you pass here, as soon as you do this, you free your leg, if you pass, if you decide to press that to the same side, you pass, and then you sweep your leg under his leg, so your hip flexor is against his hip flexor here. No space between your hip and his hips at all. Okay, he's not trying to escape the hips, he face to me, escape your hips. I follow him here. Then I hug his head and establish the position, okay? So you have the option to mount or to pass and go back. I call this like parking the car. So you park in the car, I go one, and then go back, okay? With over 10,000 hours of training content across nearly 5,000 individual videos, we're here to help you reach your highest level of achievement. It's available online, wherever you are, and made for people just like you. Excuses disappear when you set sight on your best self. With Atos Online training in the palm of your hand, you're unstoppable. Quit wasting time and start developing your competitive edge with Autos Online. Join today and get started for as little as $25 a month. Your future is worth it. Train smarter, study more, be legendary. Again, so you get in lockdown, stretch his leg. So I, if I go like this, close him, I would make everything tight. Okay, first thing I avoid the underhook. My hand that's under the head, underhook his leg. I go down with my chest, bring my knee down, free my leg, then I move up, elbow in, grab his collar here, okay? With this hand uh, right under his arm, frame, try to lock your leg over, tiptoes on the mat, now I'm out. Once I'm out, I can underhook this side if I want, which is better, okay, in my opinion is better. Keep your head on the floor, frame. You see when I do this frame, I make a hook on top of his hip, okay? I'm not framing like this. Yeah, I need to, I need to use my foot over his, uh, his hip like this. I need to make this look like this, okay? I cannot like keep my leg dead, let's say trap here. I cannot keep my foot here, like figure four. Because then he's gonna trap both legs right now, trap both legs, yeah, like this, and then he can sweep me right here, okay? So I keep here, okay? So once I'm here, one, two, shovel the toes under, go back to mouth or fast park in the car. Okay, he escaped the hips, I follow him, follow him. Okay, you guys have any questions? All right, one more time. Just uh, on the fight, that's how it happened. Stretch, I'm here, go one, two. That's how I do. Okay, free my leg as fast as you can. Now look, underhook here. That's here, or you go to mount. I suggest you to pass the guard if you're fighting against someone really explosive, like Lucas Barbosa, because when you mount, they boom, okay? Or someone really tall, they have a like, really uh, good leverage to bridge, 
So I suggest you to go side control. But if you find someone shorter, you can mount. Or if you feel stronger, you go straight to mount because then seven points, yeah. right? <laughs> Which is good for you if you like to compete. Or mount position is uh, ultimate control in jiu-jitsu as well. Complete dominance, so it's good for you to be there. You guys understand? All right, let's practice that, and then we go the next one. One, two, three. So one thing in jiu-jitsu that we need to always think, we gotta think that, um, is we gotta use all our limbs, right, the members, to um, release the situation, to escape. All right, sometimes we forget that, sometimes we think about just one side. So you gotta use all, all sides, especially like the free side, okay? So for example, I have one leg trapped here, the other leg is free, okay? So in this case, after I free my leg here inside and I still with the leg trapped, I use my free side to like put the hook on this side and I must have my foot like this. You see my foot around his, his, his hip. I see someone feel like this, okay? Why I don't do that? Because I don't have pressure, plus he can trap both of my legs. As soon as I try to escape, he can step over my foot. So I keep here, okay, like this. And I use my shin as a foam roll, okay? I start using it as a foam roll, and I take my heel out. Once my heel step out, I'm gonna start to step my leg out, my foot out, okay? So my heel cannot be trapped. So I start turning my foot like down, okay? I relax my toes and violating the foot, okay? If I keep my foot inside like stiffen, like it's gonna be hard for me to escape. I gotta relax and I take the leg out, okay? That's one advice for you on tip here. Don't forget to, to do this. Also, if I keep my knee close to his belly, I don't have pressure to push down. So I need to go with my knee down, okay? It's like, it's like, a, like I said, it's like a foam roll. So your shin needs to go like here, okay? His entire leg, all right? So you don't keep your knee on this side. So I see some of you doing this, and then you keep your leg here, and try to just do this with this leg. Okay, it's not gonna work. So you gotta bring your knee down, and then your leg will escape. So you gotta make him like this, okay? So you use that pressure. Not only like go to mount and pass to this side, you also can trap the leg on this side and then move to the other side if you want. Okay, you can do that too. So for example, I'm here, just to stretch, right? I get the underhook, I go down, I free my leg, I go to mount position, I get right here, I escape, I can go back here if I want. Okay, I go back to the side that I, I was, okay? Another thing is, when I'm here, uh, he's stretching, let's say you have a really strong lockdown, really long leg, I'm taking my leg out, but at the time that I try to move on, he, he trapped my leg again. Oh, he always trapped me in my leg. This movement here, I'm able to do it, okay? Let's say bend your, your you know, this foot here. Yeah. You're gonna keep bended, like uh, bent uh, toward, towards you, yeah. And when I try to do this, look, he's always there. He's always there. So I can free my leg this way, but at the time that I try to go back, like he still trapped me here, you see? So what I do, since I have the underhook on the, on the, on the same side that I, that I am, uh, I use my free leg, so I go here. I use my free leg, and then I release, and I go back. You got it? Again. So I'm here, so he's using the hook. During the fight can be rough. When he feels that I'm about to free my leg, he's gonna bring his heel to his butt again. Exactly, so now I can free my leg. I still, I have the top side free, right here, but when I try to put my foot back there, look, he's locked out again, okay? So at the time that I do this, I use this leg here, over, the bottom foot right on his heel, and I stretch his leg here. Then I pass my foot. So I force his leg to, to stretch here, and I go back. Yeah, I can play around like mounting, passing, moving to both sides. You guys understand? All right. So uh, let's process this because it's very annoying sometimes with the lockdowns. So you try to free your leg, and your opponent keep right there. Remember, if you feel, you can uh, stretch your legs. You see this contact here on my foot? It's very annoying, right? So first, I go down, and I take that contact out, right? He doesn't have any contact with me anymore. Okay, but at the time that I try to go back, he's, he go again. 
If a few of the guys that type of uh, lockdown guard player, like very annoying, right? I use my free leg. So once I go here, I use my free leg over his heel. Yeah. Look how I use over his heel, just pay attention to my feet. Here. And like that's not like under. I can leave the figure four here first, right? And then uh, he cannot do any lockdown anymore. But I gotta be careful with this bridge, right? And then I release the lock, the figure four. Because if I keep the figure four, I will not pass his guard. I'm just stalling here. I'm just holding and letting him do nothing. But also I can do anything. So I put my foot right close to his butt. Here. And my elbow, I frame. Okay? On my knee. Elbow on the knee and then I can go to mouth. Okay? So I can be here. So I'm here locked down. I'm trying to free the leg. He's very annoying right there. I go here. Do that over and over, okay? All right, let's go, one, two, three.